Hello collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. So you guys, um, as I'm coming into this energy today for you guys, um, it's a lot of emotions, okay? So uh, today could be a very emotional day for someone, um, maybe for a lot of people, okay? Um, Take time to ground yourself. Take time to feel the emotions and let it go. Take time to see why you are feeling in a certain kind of way. Um, somebody could be crying today, okay? Somebody could be very much so reminiscing uh, about what they had or something like that. Somebody could be in a lot of regret today. Today is some sort of energy shift for somebody. Somebody's energy has shifted to very emotional. Somebody might want to cry. Maybe this person is crying already, but somebody is sad. All right. Um, and it has a lot to do maybe with losing someone that they really loved or, uh, making the decisions that they made out of greed. Okay. Somebody is very sad about that today. All right, y'all, so we're going to tap in um, to get a message for the collective. Remember, this is for all signs. So uh, take the messages as they resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest, you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Overall energy, please, for this reading today. Wow, hangman. Yes, somebody is definitely reflecting right now. Wow. Wow. So, the card says, I'm going to just read the card to you guys first before I get the... Uh, I already told you the feeling I was feeling. And it's funny that this card came out. It says, you may not be content with your current circumstances and feel confined in a predicament or a mental state that does not bring you joy. However, have confidence that you can free yourself from this situation. Regain control of your future by employing the strength within. That's crazy. Because that's what I was feeling. Somebody is feeling powerless. They feeling like they made mistakes. That That's undeniable. Okay? And we got the star at the bottom of the deck. Okay, somebody feels stuck in their current situation or in a current state of mind, uh, current uh, predicament, some sort of situation they put themselves in. At least this person is taking accountability, uh, knowing that they put themselves in there, in that situation. Okay, whoever this is. Yeah, somebody is hoping, okay, for positive feelings or positive motivation here. So I feel like... This person can release themselves. Whoever this is that's feeling like this, you can actually release yourself um, and heal with that star card. A lot of healing is needing to be done. Maybe um, you're in a situation to show you, you know, uh, the truths of what your inner truths are, what you really want. So this could be somebody, um, whoever I'm picking up on, they may have thought they wanted just silver and gold energy, right? But they rather have love for real, for real. Because you can have all the money in the world and all the tangible things, but you can't, you know, love is not uh, something you can buy, okay? Um, and this person could be in a circumstance or a situation with someone that is not that loving. They're not that caring, nurturing at all. Somebody wants somebody to be their peace. This person could feel like they're under a lot of pressure. Okay. This person could be thinking about someone that gave them a lot of peace. Okay. Which could be my collective, somebody in the collective. You gave somebody so much peace, inner peace, mentally, physically, and emotionally. And at the time, this person did not value that peace because they thought it was it wasn't necessary. Like they gotta go get it kind of energy. Okay. Um now it's like, oh, no, I don't. No, I don't got to go get it. Okay. <laughs> like, I'd rather go get it. It's like, I'd rather have both love and peace. And somebody just could be looking at you uh, like, damn, like I could have had it all with you. Like, you are everything. You're everybody's dream come true. Okay. Whoever you are. Somebody felt like they could have had it all with you. This is what somebody is thinking about. Okay. And... Somebody could be wondering if you're single, if you're dating. Um, 
somebody could be about to be in a relationship with someone or you already are talking to someone or something like that. Somebody feel like it, they, they time ran out or their time was running out because they couldn't get this together, that together. Like somebody's making a lot of different excuses of why they're in a situation that they're in. Yeah, this older gentleman could be an older gentleman that feels stuck right now. Mature male that feels stuck here. They all in their head. Okay. Maybe a mature woman, a grandmother, or an older woman is under judgment right now. What's the hangman? What is the hangman? This is what somebody is thinking about. All right. Wow. Changed. Wow. This is good. For whoever this is, somebody going to move out. Fuck it. That kind of energy. Yeah. that's You got to take back your power. Somebody is definitely about to find their inner strength energy. Okay. They going within to take back their power for their future. Like, it's not over. As long as you have air in your lungs, baby, you can make a decision, a new decision every single day. Like, that's the beauty, beauty of choice. I love choices. I love it so much because we have so many of them. And it's our duty to make proper decisions and choices for our lives. Okay? So, yeah, finally. So, somebody put themselves... This is a... This is a situation like God, it's like that tough love I was mentioning the other day. Like God put somebody like, all right, we'll stay in that situation and see how you, how, how it, it'll affect you mentally, physically, and emotionally and see what's going to happen to you. Let's see. Like, since you know it all kind of energy, this person could be very arrogant. This person could be very bullheaded and this could be the kind of energy. It could be a Leo or um, Aries that I'm speaking about right now. Somebody is very, or a Taurus. Somebody is very bullheaded. Like, it's like. They were stubborn, okay? And unfortunately, people that are very stubborn like this have to go through hell in a handbasket until they learn how to be more flexible and not deny their own truths. This person could have been denying their own truth is what I'm hearing. And they don't want to deny their own truth. Yeah, somebody want to divorce, something is changing. Uh, Yeah. Courthouse. So this person, something is changing now, Okay. Or they're changing something now. If somebody was going to court, they change something. They change it on motion in the court, whatever the case may be. Something has changed now um, when it comes to some contracts or something like that. Uh, and this is another reason why somebody could have felt, wow, yeah, this person could be going to, yeah, they want a divorce. They under judgment about a marriage. Okay, adjudication in this marriage got this person in despair. It's like they married the enemy or something like that. Somebody could have married somebody that was not their equal. Okay, um, I, I heard just to be on top of the world. Okay, I don't know uh, how this person runs their life, but this person could have did this for financial uh, gain. All right, this like could even be like one of those um, um, what is it? Mail order brides energy. So somebody could be going to the courthouse for a divorce or it's just, it is what it is. Okay. Somebody could have been married to somebody for a very long time for some of y'all. Um, and others, it's just like some, that, that relationship was only to bring change on what they really wanted in life. Like somebody had to see how it was here and how it was there. What does it look like? It does it. Is it more sadness here? It's very sad for somebody. Somebody is not attracted to somebody that they are with, okay? Anymore. Like, maybe they was at one point, but it's like, ew. Like, somebody is like, ugh. <sighs> Energetically. Maybe it's just an energetic thing. Or maybe this person really doesn't like how somebody is they seen or looking or something. I don't know. And maybe, and also it's a, it's giving a emotional attraction. Somebody emotionally isn't attracted to somebody. I know that's like, what? Well, yeah, they're emotionally not attracted to somebody. <laughs> All right. Wow. We got surrender. I can release my need to control. Oh my gosh. Love in the reverse. I can't make it up because something is not love at all love is not this is not love and we got self-esteem i possess the gifts of my soul that benefits me and others yeah they can't benefit from something because something is not allowing them to grow but growth in the reverse it's like being in a relationship that is stuck it's stagnant it's loveless it's lackluster it's yeah they was in denial shit 
they could have been in denial like oh no i'm good no 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 okay not no more somebody not feeling like that no more they can't take it no more somebody needs to surrender to love holy spirit divine spirit what is the message Message for the collective. What do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of? Okay, we got imagination and growth. Okay, and decision. So somebody can't figure out how can they change the situation. They're trying to figure out how can they change something. Ask for help is what I just heard. So ask somebody for help. Somebody need to ask something for help or something. What is this? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it's present. So, yeah, staying in the present, there is an opportunity right now, right in front of somebody's face that is like, uh, you can get out of get out card. Like, uh, God is there to open a door for somebody so that they can escape. A daunting situation that does not fit them okay so hopefully this person takes heed that this is god giving this person the alley-oop okay um so that they can slam dunk their pre like something is happening right now in their present moment maybe somebody played basketball or something like that but somebody is they can change something right now this could even like be an ending of a lease or something like that for some of y'all. Uh, and they like, yeah, I'm not going to re-sign this lease. I'm going to just move out or yeah, I'm going to just go the other way or whatever the case may be. Um, But whatever this is, somebody's going to grow from this situation, okay? I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Exactly. So somebody can be about to manifest something. They could be thinking about something. Like how can they get out of something? Like, and God is about to give them the keys so that they can get out of out of a unhealthy situation. All right. So it's like thank me later. All right, let's see. What else? Give me one card from this deck, please. Holy Spirit, that best represents this reading for the collective, for whoever needs to hear this. Thank you. Shame in the reverse. Oh, baby, don't be ashamed. I know that's right. Take a chance. Exactly. So whatever this person is doing, this person know where their heart is being pulled to. It's like showing me, like, you know how them pulley things it's their heart strings. It's like something that is connected to someone's heart strings. They're feeling pulled to that grab it, grab it, some sort of gravity. Like something is being pulled, and um, they know it's God. Like it's like I know this is God making me feel this way. Like somebody knows this, so somebody could have a certain level of um having a connection with the divine, and he knows he or she knows that this is God. Get pulling on their heartstrings to tell them like, hey, you know what? I got an opening right here for you. It's already right here. All you got to do is do this. I know it's going to look bad to them, but it's going to look great. It's going to feel good to you. So do you care what somebody think about what it look like? Or do you care about how you feeling? Like, fuck what it look like. You know, I'm about to, you know, I got this right here for you. Like, it's right here. It's all ready for you. It's like a, just imagine like a, <laughs> like somebody that is extremely exhausted. This is that person's energy as well. They are extremely exhausted. Whoever this person is energetically, spiritually, emotionally. And God is like, look, I got something right here for you that it'll, it'll replenish you. Like, what do you, do you want to take this sip of water or, um, or you want to stay in an unhealthy, toxic environment, right? It says, take a chance. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone. The world is waiting for you to take a chance. When you do, you'll be rewarded, <laughs> okay? A newfound confidence and will begin to attract new results. Take a chance. 
take a chance for whoever this is. And we got shame. Ain't nothing to be ashamed about. A blue jay is outside right now. So ain't nothing that a blue jay could be uh, significant to someone. Um, but uh, take a chance, okay? Shame is in the reverse. Don't you be ashamed of nothing. Whatever you about to do is like, whatever I'm about to do, please forgive me energy. I'm sorry, but I got to go. Kind of energy. All right, so it's nothing for somebody to be ashamed about, and I'm glad that this came out in the reverse. All right? Yeah, yeah, Blue Jay. So this could even be like a totem of theirs. You hear You hear them? That's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so take a chance here, okay? Um, I really feel like this is a masculine because that was a male bird that I'm speaking to. Like, I feel like I'm talking to a masculine here. Forgiveness. Withholding forgiveness only hurts you and prolongs the pain. If I'm sorry, it's time to forgive someone or maybe even yourself so you can stay on the path of your highest potential. So forgive whoever this is. So there is a need for forgiveness. So um don't feel guilty about something. Okay. Any like listen. We all make mistakes. That's how we learn, okay? And I don't care, like, uh, and I use my situation because of all of the lessons that I have learned. And I understand, like, a lot, you know, now of why certain things happen in my life. I don't care if somebody induced it or not. At the end of the day, it was all divinely guided so that it can make me grow into the woman that I needed to be. So, I understand why certain pains happen or certain, because... When you're stubborn or stuck in the old old way of being, it's hard for it gotta hurt. sometimes it gotta hurt in order to, you know what I'm saying? In order to grow, and I'm not talking about abuse or like somebody putting you down all the time. Like no, like sometimes it pain. It well, most of the time pain grows you into being a better person. Like or. That's what it's supposed to do, I should say. Okay, it's not supposed to grow you cold. Whoever this is need to understand it's nothing to be ashamed about. We all make mistakes. You know, you don't, you know, whoever, I'm pretty sure if, if this is somebody that want to connect to someone that's mature, and I'm not talking about one of them bitter, well, oh, I'll F him, I don't care. Baby girl, go heal. We're not talking to you. We're talking about the women that are actually mature, that is understanding like people make mistakes in life. And, it's nothing to be ashamed of because we are not perfect, okay? And it happens, okay? It happens. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. And it's not our duty nor our job to hold uh, something over someone's head. That's not what we're here for, okay? We are not these people's judge or jury. God is, okay? We're not here to judge anyone, okay? We, we meet each other in this life to learn from each other. That's our whole purpose, okay? Now, if you feel like you can't learn something from the next man, I don't care how old, how young, no matter the case may be, then you are stuck any fucking way. You mean you might as well go ahead on, okay, if you think you know everything, okay? And if God is able to forgive us for not praying like, like we used, like we were supposed to before we had our awakening, right? Not not listening to his word, not uh following, walking in love. Like if if he could forgive us for all of that, how come we as uh humans, right? Uh why can't we forgive each other for things that we know that at a certain point of their life or whatever happen in that situation because I feel like something happened and somebody felt like you're not going to forgive them collective and that's what that's another thing that's really like weighing on them and maybe I'm speaking of this forgiveness like this because this person really wants you to forgive them y'all like seriously okay it's like seriously all right they know they fucked up somebody feels that within their soul they know they messed up and they know that they got to get out of their own way and whoever you are, divine masculine, divine feminine, whoever you are, somebody is like, listen, like, uh, you know, I, I'm sorry. You know, energetically, this person is sorry. This person could have did a lot out of ego, you know, and what we look at ego Think of ego as a t uh, the terrible twos as a toddler. 
what happens when your little two-year-old don't get their way. They falling out. They throwing temper tantrums. They doing this. But as an adult, this is what somebody did. Okay, because they didn't get their way. They threw a temper tantrum. They thought something was going to work out in their favor because they was acting crazy or something. Okay, and it was, they didn't factor in that, you know, you know, you, you're going to be on this earth for a very long time, right? You think you can live with that for the rest of your life? I know you're young right now, you know, or however old, but how about when you turn 50 and 60, you know, how you going to feel about that? How about when you turn, you know, you get older, like you're going to be reflecting like, damn, I shouldn't have acted like that because I'd have wasted all this time being a jerk face when I could have just made it could have been so simple. But ego will keep your mouth closed from speaking truths. Right. Even to yourself. Like when you don't want to face the truth of a situation, and I feel like this person in particular was like that. And I say was because somebody is changing. Like God put this person in the chokehold. Okay. And it's like, whoa, I fucked up. You know, it's like even unfortunately rolling over and looking at somebody while they sleep. Like I cannot believe I'm here with this person right now. This shit is crazy. You know. Somebody's heart isn't at ease. And the first thing first is them to forgive themselves. That's what it's all about. Forgiving self first. And I feel like this person is going to f find a way to stand in their power. They know that everything in them and I'm is telling them to stand up. Come on, get up. Like don't don't be laying there forever. Get your ass up. All right. <laughs> that kind of energy. Like, don't miss your beat. Somebody already feel like they done missed too much time already. Fucking around with some a certain person, a certain energy, or worried about what other people might think. <sighs> you know, they want happiness in their heart and in their home. This is what somebody is searching for right now. Why seeing and why is acting? Hell yeah, this person is seeing. Like, they want happiness in their heart and home. And they can't have that there. They see that with you, though. Because somebody watching you heavily, sweetheart, whoever you are, they're definitely keeping their eye on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right? And I honestly feel like with this Mercury retrograde right now, um, there is a beautiful... Everybody has a choice right now. There could be things coming back around to you, people coming back into your life, all right, uh, to actually close the chapters that were toxics for a brighter future, right? So um, I feel like somebody could be coming towards you to have a talk. Maybe y'all going to have this talk and it'll free both of you guys up and y'all will be okay. OK, um, or and y'all go y'all separate ways. But if not, this will bring you guys closer. Somebody is haunted by their past mistakes when it came to you. All right. They really is haunting somebody. They know they fucked up. And they accepting that, you know. And it's not a blaming energy. Well, you did and I did and you did. No, somebody is just taking accountability for the part they played in the situation. They know they could have did something different. Right? Let's see. Yeah. Wow. We got ball team. <laughs> the earthly weaver of the world. Yes. So somebody want growth with you. Venus type of energy. Okay. Somebody wants... That, that loving, nurturing uh, energy here. Somebody is praying to God that you accept them back or at least be friends with them or whatever. But for some of y'all, I'm, I'm, what I'm envisioning is a beautiful new beginning for somebody. I'm not even lying, y'all. Whatever conversation, for some of y'all, 
This conversation is going to free you up so that you can love somebody else freely. Whatever this is, it's going to, it's like finally closing the chapter because of, because somebody is, um, actually y'all both are in alignment for that forgiveness. It's like right behind, it's like, you know, have you ever seen that post, uh, where it's like a door, one person standing on the other side of the door, like both of y'all are standing, this is the door, this masculine is standing here and you're standing here. All right. And it's like they want to knock on the door so bad. But they're like, no, 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 They won't, they won't be like, fuck out of here. But the person on the other side of the door is like, please, God, just help me grow past this. Like, Lord, heal my heart. Like, um, please, like, let me let this person go. Lord, like, you could be asking the universe for all kind of shit right now. Like, cause you are heart. Like, fuck what, you, what you're saying out your mouth, ma'am, okay? Um, your heart is still connected. It's still, like, why for somebody? I don't understand. And by this knock on the door kind of energy, right? Like, hello, <laughs> it's me. No, um, like that knock on the door is going to be able to, because you're going to open the door. This person feels like you're going to reject them, but you're not. But you're going to have that conversation and it's going to free you up. Okay. It's something about freeing you up because God can't anchor in whoever you are, the feminine, masculine, which one, or whichever one behind the door. Okay. However, this is whichever side of the door you on, because somebody felt like you shut them out your life or there no, there's no access to you or something because maybe they shut you out. Take it as it resonates. Right. But there's still uh, a energy of needing closure or something like that for somebody. Somebody needs closure. Right. And that closure is going to open up another door. All right. For growth for the both of you. Right. So, yeah, change is afoot, honey. Change is afoot. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful change. It's an emotional change. And y'all both deserve this change. Both of you guys. What else? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Oh. Okay. What's this? Illumination. Yeah, somebody definitely is having some sort of awakening, y'all. We got guardians. So illumination. Somebody is definitely know you a healer. They know that you are a healer. There's something that's been like 100% illuminated to this person. That you're an earth angel. That you have beautiful healing abilities. All right. And... Maybe they shunned you for that at whatever point. Not no more. Okay. Because they know you're a healer. Something has been illuminated about that about you. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Wow. Joy. <laughs> Rejoice in the present. I'm telling you, this is beautiful energy. Oh, man. Now that something is illuminated to someone, someone is happy. All right. Wow. I know that's right. That you or somebody's going to have the strength to be their authentic self. Because somebody could have been hiding or pretending that they didn't fuck with you or they don't like you or they didn't care about you no more or something like that. This is like, wow. Somebody is, since something has been illuminated to someone, all right, maybe through a dream, a message, or something like that. Somebody uh, may be feeling like they're happy because this is giving them the strength to be their authentic self. All right. And they could be setting the attentions here for healing. Setting the attention for healing. All right. Wow, I cannot make it up. Well, I told y'all something is going to lead right into love for the both of you guys. It's going to be the love that you've been wanting, the love that they've been wanting. Y'all both have it. And it's like, 
bottled up and it's seeping out the seams, okay, because of all this love. It's so much love. How can anybody be upset about this? This is wild to somebody. Like, that's crazy. But people could have been upset about this love that y'all had. But we got creating through the ashes, a.k.a. They, done, they know they burnt the bridge down, but it's still love there, though. They know they burnt the bridge all the way to a motherfucking crisp. They know that. Yeah, they know that. But... But, 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 change, opportunity for change and growth is here, okay? Mm -hmm. Wow. Somebody might be going to therapy, and that's beautiful. Somebody's going to grow from a situation here, okay? For some of y'all, you could be this person's therapist kind of energy, and it's helping them grow, all right, your kind words, your genuine words, it could even be a post you posted, some whatever. They taking that and it's helping them grow. They see they want to be different too. They want to grow too. They want to heal too. Like they are no longer willing to downgrade their standards for what their heart really true desire, truly desires. It's beautiful. It's a very beautiful energy right here, y'all. Yep. They they taking a moment to reflect right now. This is beautiful, whoever this is. Um, congratulations for the group. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine spirit. What is the message? Wow, somebody was feeling binded to a current situation, leaving the past behind. So a situation they felt binded to due to somebody getting arrested. They leaving it behind on Halloween or something like that. Somebody felt binded to a situation and now they're leaving it behind. Okay, what else? Holy Spirit, the Divine Spirit, what else? Wow, it came out. Wow. Look at that. Leaving the past behind. It came out. Someone could be getting arrested. The grass was only greener because it was fake. Somebody could have got kicked out of a house or something like that. Growth. Block access. Somebody access block communication. Somebody leaving the past behind and blocking communication. Somebody could have been lying. Now they need they at a crossroads. All right, what else? Holy Spirit, divine spirit. Your life is a projection of the energy you put out. Somebody need to seek therapy. Now that they, they could be seeking therapy and they seeing things from a higher perspective, that your desires are within reach if you clear your mind. Somebody could have been spreading rumors, all right? If they purified their energy and aura, they would get arrested because of a codependent connection? What? Somebody could have been lying to them. About if they leave a situation, this is weird, to scare them. Like, oh, you can go back to jail or I don't know why I said back to jail. Maybe somebody was in jail before, previously. Um, If you do this, then you go into jail. Or if you do something like, what? No. That's a lie. Okay? Your life is the, ener the energy that you walk in. So, yeah. So, there's some sort of conflict because somebody isn't suffering nightmares or something like that there's a lot of conflict because somebody is going to they learned their lesson about dominating people somebody just wanted domination over somebody fuck if you've been having really good dreams positive uh good sleeps and stuff um somebody knows that i don't know who that why this person how they would know that but Somebody know you've been sleeping good and, you know, you're fully energized. You're not lacking anything or something like that. They've been enlightened about your gifts. Somebody knows that you're a healer, like for real, for real. Like somebody might want you to help them heal. Okay. Maybe they want you to do... A ceremony for them to do some healing work okay 
you know, uh, divine beings. Maybe somebody wants you to help them heal. <sighs> yeah, because they've been stressing and lacking sleep and stuff like that ever since that of their enlightenment about you. Oh, they could be stressed, lacking sleep. They could be feeling cursed with misfortune or something like that. All right, so somebody's stressed about this hate, a curse. Somebody feel binded to a current situation. Get in the reverse. They feel so awkward. Find it. Gift in reverse. What else? Somebody's gift of sight they can't see. But you live and you learn. They could be learning a lesson here. Somebody got proof now that something was only an illusion. About a bribe, some sort of temptation. This is confirmation for somebody. Somebody feel binded to the situation, gift in the reverse. You live and you learn. Somebody is paranoid because there's some sort of conflict or something would cause conflict. There's a lot of differences between you and somebody. Or these differences cause some sort of depression to somebody. Somebody could be paranoid because they feel like they learning a lesson or this was like karma playing out for somebody. Oh, you live and you learn. This could be somebody in your family that was enlightened about who you worship or and they want your help to get justice when it comes to some sort of separate because they're separating from a religion that is cursed with misfortune so somebody may be realizing that something that they are following is they that whole organization that coven somebody is cursed with misfortune and if they join something, they all are cursed with the same thing because they, they participated in something. Now they're leaving it behind. Leaving the past behind. To have inner peace. Somebody is suffering now because they left something behind. They're they leaving it behind. Leaving the past behind. It's going to bring some sort of calmness. Okay. Leaving the past behind. Yeah, somebody could be disappointed here because they didn't know something. They didn't see something before they did it. Somebody could be right now trying to find inner peace. They could be isolating themselves. Hmm. Because they could be planning to just go into the unknown. Like, they don't know what's going to happen, but they out. Maybe they feel they they seen a family unit differently now. They could be seeing these people differently or whatever this is. It's nothing but conflict and weirdness going on. And they don't want to be bonded to this group, this family members, these people no more. Because something was a lie. Someone was lying to them. Maybe they would say, oh, you can have this. You can have that. You're going to have this. And none of that shit came to fruition. What's this? It was just a bunch of bullshit. Like, whatever this is, it was a bunch of crap. Crapola, right? They feel they need to forgive themselves for believing something, right? As well. Like, oh, you'll have these blessings. You'll da 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 da. They didn't get no goddamn gifts, you know? Whatever that is. Huh. Someone was lying to them. Somebody could even lie in court. In front of a judge, somebody could have lied, lied to them about, yeah, this is some supernatural shit. This is a disturbance. Somebody could have lied about a disturbance on an adventure. They traveled with a third wheel enemy here. So somebody was lying about some supernatural shit. Okay, yeah, blessings with this whatever underworld energy. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody got involved in some bullshit. They're worried now. 
Yeah, because somebody is stressing it late and sleep. Because they made this bond for blessings. They wish they had clarity first, though. They wish they would have listened to their intuition. Because they got a reward of being stuck. Damn. Because the purpose was for a soulmate to reject you. But now they feel like they're in danger. Because they feel like they're suffering from something. Because somebody hearing that you're going to get whatever they said that this person was. This, so somebody could have told this person they was going to have all this. They was going to get this. They was going to get that. Whatever the case may be. They never got none of that shit. Somebody lied to them when they was in court. Or somebody lied to them about something. This could even be like when, with their group or something. They never was going to get that because they're watching you get it. But they just told them to reject you. Now they're worried because they rejected you or something like that. Lying. So this was supernatural. They're worried. Yeah, because something was a part of a plan. Strategy. As you predicted, somebody wants to compromise and somebody that collaborated with them could be... Something came to an end. This collaboration coming to an end and somebody is pissed because somebody is in their logical mind now about who is really there to support them, who really loves them, who really cares about them. Like I said, this could even be family members. This could be someone you had a family with. This could even be just a lover situation. Like somebody feel like they should have thought differently because somebody see you are in... The winning circle, I don't know what that, that is, but somebody see you winning right now. And they, they told them that you wasn't, like, that you would be whatever, whatever. And they realized, I'm like, wow, like, so y'all lied to me and said that blah, 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 blah. But something was a part of their plan here, St strategy. They worried now. Oh, strategy? What was the strategy? What was the plan, spirit? Suffering. Somebody could be suffering to make somebody suffer. Darkness. The hell. Suffering in the darkness. So they like, I know this was not a coincidence that you actually received your desires. Somebody thought that this was an ideal person, religion, but they all are cursed with misfortune. Also, somebody, religion, or they were praying for somebody to be cursed with misfortune because that will bring somebody peace. What? Yeah, these motherfuckers lie. That don't even make sense. That don't make no kind of sense. Like, you got to make it make sense. If you, if you want, if you want to do something, like, I don't know what they told this person. I don't know if this person back was against the wall or you know, uh, complexion had a role in it or what. They, they just made it sound way better because a person of a different race or something, whatever, religion, whatever, told them how this was going to go. Like, like they had experience in something or whatever the case may be. Actually, no. You're stronger when you are your authentic self, not being somebody that somebody else told you that you should be. And they, their whole purpose was for someone to reject a soulmate, which is weird. I don't know why. They wanted you to feel rejected, maybe because they knew your life purpose, your life mission. And maybe they thought that that would help. Like, so unbeknownst to this person, they inadvertently help their enemy, their own enemy, by the way, because this is like the people, like if this was your soulmate, they had a good connection with you and that, which mean they had a good connection with God, right? So y'all would have that connection with God, right? And their enemy had told them some old fly stuff, right? Oh, you got to reject them because if they rejected you, that enemy, which would be like a dark on a dark level, on some entity shit, that enemy was only doing that because they wanted, they didn't want the world to grow, heal, and evolve. And if you are a hundred percent at your healing abilities, right, then they wouldn't stand a chance, which was weird to them because you are now at hundred percent at your healing abilities. 
And even though this person rejected you, so this is what this person is saying. It's like, I rejected him. I thought you had said that if I did this, that their blessings with that, they knew that that was a lie. They was just, they, they just needed this person because they felt like if they had something of yours collective, which would be a relationship, a connection, something of yours, it will take you longer. It will slow you down because all of their tactics throughout life or throughout a situation, it it actually, um, it didn't do what it was supposed to do, basically, okay? That's basically what is going on. All of the bullying, all of the rejection, all of the magic, all of the whatever, it didn't do it. So they had to find a person, like who does this earth angel love the most? And they like, oh, it's so-and-so for sure. So-and-so, she loved the shit out of them or he loved the hell out of that person. Yeah. All right, cool. So what we going to do is get them to reject them, okay? And tell them that if they reject them, they'll whatever. And they knew who this person, how they roll. Maybe somebody love money. Somebody love finances. They love nice stuff. They love shit like that. Material. We'll tell them that we're going to get them all this material shit. Right? Right? But they just got to reject you. Treat you like whatever. Walk away. Break your heart. Whatever. And when they did it, they thought. That that will be that will stifle the earth angel, the healer, the earthly weaver of the world. They thought that that would stifle you and shut you down, but it didn't. Okay, it did the complete opposite. You still were able to reach your goal when it came to growing and helping, helping God. So somebody is worried now. About this person that came to them with this, let's make a deal energy. Wow. Your life is a projection of the energy you put out. Yeah, this person, somebody was really trying to disturb somebody's peace, y'all. We got a family is enlightened about and now is wishing that God have mercy on them. So it could have been a whole damn family. The Lord have mercy. Because their life is a projection of the energy they put out. Wow. Wow. Because something is going on with somebody in your family well-being. And they are hoping and praying and for mercy. They need help. Somebody really need help, y'all. But the, their, whatever they went through, whatever they did, they're suffering from something that they did. Yeah. For trying to take something from somebody. They also is getting uh, like, wow, that was wow. Like this person really lied to us. Because you, they found out that you actually got reached your desires here. And they thought that when somebody had suggested to pray for misfortune for you, they thought that it will transfer some sort of energy. Like, I don't know what this person told these people, baby, but mm-mm. Yeah, somebody lied, lied. I mean, big lies. These wasn't little lies. These was like life-changing lies or something like that. Like, what the hell? Well, the devil is a liar, so, you know? Yeah, they like, don't be with your two of cups. Don't be, don't be friends with them. Don't be cool with them. Don't be, it seemed like, it seemed like this is a collective of things. Like, this is like family members, friends, people that, was they all like remember Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory, y'all? And think of yourself as the golden ticket. You are the golden ticket. Whoever I'm pick picking up on this earth angel being energy, you was the golden ticket. And they remember that guy, right? Remember that guy that everybody that had got the golden ticket, he winded up coming next to them and whispering in their ear, trying to get them to barter their golden ticket so that they don't get access to the castle. 
like, hey, you know what? Like, you know, if you give me a go to like, I don't know what he would whisper in the kid's ears. But as soon as the gold, somebody reached, found the golden ticket, like he would pop up out of nowhere. Like, yo, I got this, I got this plan for you. So like, if you give me your golden ticket, like I would da -da 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 -da. make sure your family had this. I make sure da -da 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 -da. and they went for it. That's what they did to them because they knew you with well, this crazy. Cause it's all this gold. They knew that you divine being from your family members to your ex lovers, to your ex friends or whoever, they all knew they all came to these people in some way, shape or form, whether it was in a form of Somebody that was cool with them, whether it was a form of another woman, whether it was a form of a businessman, whatever is a form of like they, of course, it was a dark entity that was just shape shifting into different people kind of energies and whispering into everybody ear, telling them like they can have all of this if they go with them because you wouldn't make it, which was a huge lie because they knew you would make it. You're the earthly weaver of the world. You're the golden ticket. The world needs you. They knew damn well you wasn't going no fucking where. They was just hoping with all this confusion and it was so many people against you, people that loved you, people that people that you loved, I should say, people that you respected. If everybody stabbed you in the back, maybe it'll, you know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> sorry, you know, hey, well, I mean, hey, it was a good try. Like, at least we tried shit. Like, that's how they feel. That's crazy. They like, at least we tried shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, like you can't get mad at us for trying to knock y'all down the sides. Like that's what they were supposed to do. So they did their job and we did ours. Somebody is embarrassed. They are shame. Okay. Like this is crazy. They like, well, ain't that about a bitch? So the whole time, like all we had to do was be on the right side of the wheel and we would have got our, we didn't have to do nothing extra. Yeah, no, you didn't. Being connected to the golden ticket, all types of blessings come into your life. And somebody is starting to see that. Like, you know what? Instead of being greedy, like I'm going to take it for myself. How can you take it for yourself? Like, that's weird for you to even think that way. So that's an ego check right there. Ego check, check yourself, babe male or female whoever these people was they should have checked themselves when they start thinking that they could just take something from somebody yeah pretty fucking much collective yeah this is definitely love here partnerships two of cups friendships family love romance like maybe somebody felt because we are divine we are beings of love that if they stabbed us in the heart a million times, then we wouldn't be able to exude love. Babe, we shit, eat, breathe love. Okay? Our very existence would have had to be burnt down for that to not happen. Like, that doesn't make sense. So, I don't know who these, these crusty clowns was that decided to, you know, deter the people that were supposed to be in our lives to uh love right it's like also giving and that's fucked up like somebody these people is malicious y'all i'm not even gonna lie like somebody did this like even to the point where like i said with that golden ticket the after fucking life like these people destroyed these people lives like they didn't give no fucks they all they knew was because you know your heart has to be light as a feather for it to get uh across they wanted these people in limbo for the rest of the duration, but this is how they're going to try to counteract it. They like, well, you let your greed overshine your love. So shit, like what you want us to do? And that's, and that's like I said, and they're just as good as we are with our job. They are just as good when it comes to distorting motherfuckers. Okay. Just saying. And it's a necessary blending. Absolutely. Right? It is necessary. The dark is just as necessary as the light. You know? And that's just like God's weed or outer. Like, who is pure enough to have X, Y, and Z? What is your intent? What is your, where is your heart at? You know? And somebody's heart was in cash, which is earthbound. You understand? That's not of God. Your infinite abundance. All right. First of all, if somebody didn't know money, energy is money. Okay. 
that's money. All right. And if you don't have your energy isn't in the proper state, which they probably didn't tell them, how the hell are they going to generate all that damn money when they so dark and low vibrational energy? Somebody also is starting to see, like, since when the devil been more, more abundant than God? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I hope y'all following me on this. Because anything that the devil give you is temporary. If God give it to you, it's longevity. So that's another thing somebody is saying. Somebody is like, obviously, like we thought somebody, so they thought they, as they worshiped the devil, <laughs> they tried to say we was the devils. <laughs> but typical shit, you know, typical devil energy, typical shit. You know how you do? He, he a trickster. That's what he do, you know? And this person is now seeing whoever this, whoever this is reading this for, like, obviously, we done did this. We done did that. We done did this. God gave that shit to her or him. Yeah, God did that. That's not, that's not, that's not of the devil. Absolutely not. So, which opens their mind even more like, oh, shit. That motherfucker, a magical being. Oh, shit. Like, someone so is, man. Like, for real, they really is of the light. Like, this person really is who they said they was. Y'all could have told them, you know, whatever, but they could have been saying, oh, no, you sold your soul. Actually, y'all sold y'all. So we didn't. We actually worked hard to gain our souls back from being captive and stuck in old paradigms. Now we're free. You see what I'm saying? Somebody start is really taking, took the time, introspect to see. Maybe that's why they crying right now. They like, yo. I just gave away a billion dollars. The same billion dollars they trying to generate. They gave it away. Imagine that, y'all. Imagine that. That is crazy. <laughs> it's like somebody like that is wild. Like, so what? I didn't have to do all of this. The billion dollars was already with me. Yeah, you already had access to it when your Akashic Records would be open to you if you opened your heart for forgiveness, love, and growth. Everything that they wanted, you have right now, Collective. This is where they like, get the fuck out of here. I'm talking about from family members to friends, ex-lovers, people. Okay? That thought there was something better than you. Yeah, this emperor could be like, oh, my, my, my. And also, the person that could approach them was an emperor figure. And they told him all this, you know, shit. Now this emperor is making a practical decision. Like I said, it was all for their soul salvation. Like, he holding this person's soul in his hand, like. You gave that shit up like that for some money. It's so easy for like <laughs> these entities. They is so horrible, but oh, God, you know. Ugh. <laughs> but this person can walk away. They making a practical decision to walk away from something now. Yeah, Holy spirit, divine spirit. What is the message? What is the message? It's coming to work, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all, but this is like, I'm getting so much information. I'm seeing how this is playing out for somebody. What is going on? We have the queen of pentacles. All right. Good business sense. Responsible. Somebody is seeing somebody as the queen of pentacles, single, self-sufficient, and independent. And you look like very responsible, down to earth, ten toes down and some shit. Wealth and abundance is all around you. That rabbit energy is all about growth. Uh, multiple, multiplying. So somebody knows wherever you are, it's, it's like... Something is multiplying. You can you can have an abundance. It's something that's never going to end for you. Somebody knows that. 
you, wherever you go at in life, whether it, whether you start a new business, you start something, it's just going to grow. It's just going to keep growing and growing and growing. And then all that black is showing me that it's protected at that. You're protected as you follow your passion. Somebody is giving to getting that energy right now, right? And it looks like, hmm, what else should I plant? It's giving that energy. So you're in this energy of like, hmm, what else should I grow in this beautiful garden? You have the uh, oasis of water, which is motion without water. You can't grow shit without water. <laughs> Nothing is going to grow without water, right? It's something that's very fruitful or and abundant on your on your uh foundation. I'm trying to find the right word. Somebody about to buy some property or something like that. Or you're thinking about buying property. That could be a next business move for somebody. Congratulations. Or land. That's smart. Because you can build whatever the fuck you want on land. Absolutely. All right, that's smart. What else? How is this coming in? Because you have enough to do so. Wherever you are, you have enough to do so. How is coming in? We got the nine of wands. So this is, and it came out like this. So how's it coming towards you is having the courage and strength here to heal your wounds, persevere through something, right? Their obstacle is karmic justice for your wishes to be fulfilled. This is an obstacle for someone after betraying you. They see your wishes as being fulfilled, okay? Somebody felt like they, they had a fall from grace because you made practical decisions in life or something like that. And the outcome, I just seen the lover's card. The outcome, it is the four of pentacles here. Wow, holding on to something. I know that's right. So you are in control of your security, your business, a windfall, the ten of pentacles. You are in control of this. And somebody is very much so understanding that you are standing ten toes down when it comes to something here. Somebody is defending themselves. They laying something to rest here for the future so that they can have some sort of a uh, brand new passionate beginning. Somebody could be trying to find their strength right now. There could have been a queen of pentacles that didn't want to give up doing something, but they going through karma now about something now that they did. Strong Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra energy here right now. Yeah, something could be coming to a complete end and they know it. Something has changed. Who the queen of pentacles though? Could be a matriarch of some sort. Somebody seeing you as self-sufficient, independent, single. We got the nine of cups, okay? So somebody wishes are being fulfilled. Somebody could have collaborated with someone to keep somebody stuck in the past. And now, yeah, just to cause a heavy burden here on a king of wands or something that's so hard. Maybe somebody about to take some sort of action here because they see somebody tried to cause confusion for them or something like that. What's this nine of cups? Nine of Cups here and Hangman in the reverse. So somebody was hoping, wish that somebody didn't sacrifice something. Love. Yeah, they didn't let go of love or they didn't sacrifice somebody for love or they didn't let something go for love. What's the uh, Hangman in the reverse? Somebody sees that they can't cause a delay for a love situation as well. Hangman in the reverse. Yep, judgment. Wow, period. Yeah, somebody's on their path, made a decision. So somebody's having a wake-up call that somebody can't sacrifice somebody that they love or they're not letting this person go because they love them. All right, that's how somebody feeling. And somebody is at a crossroads right now. Do they stay or do they go? Somebody could be afraid this person about to have the strength to take this leap of faith and overcome some sort of betrayal or something like that as well. What's this nine of wands? Because somebody is the wounded warrior right now. Ongoing battles this person been going through. Yeah, in an unhealthy relationship and shit like that. When it comes to their fourth house, I feel like this is an ongoing battle here. Somebody also wants to fight for this situation. 
Six of Pentacles here. Also, something could be about a home. Somebody could be going through court battles about a home, okay, as well. That's why their fourth house is like, uh, somebody is wanting harmony. This is an ongoing battle here Some, for in somebody's fourth house, Six of Pentacles. When it comes to an equal give and take here, somebody could be communicating. All right, somebody told somebody they're taking action, all right? And they're going towards someone and they're going to be happy or something like that. Or somebody's telling somebody like they're going to take action towards their happiness or whatever. Yeah, and this is breaking their heart. Three of swords. That this person has made a practical decision to manifest something that's going to be long term or long lasting or happy for them. What's justice here? Their obstacle. This is a cause and effect of something like that. Consequences. What's this? Yeah. Because of some path this emperor for this emperor to choose a different path. So somebody could have lied or an older gentleman could have tried to get away with something. And now they're sorry for investing in something because they feel like they missed the opportunity or something like that. Or they did. Or somebody told them they missed their opportunity. Somebody is no longer confused on which way they're going to go. What's this two of wands? The moon. Yeah, but somebody knows that somebody was secretly fighting or trying to compete with someone causing an illusion so somebody knows that they're going through karma because they could have even told this person some bull crap about you guys all right also somebody is getting karmic justice here to choose another path something about their dreams there's a lot of conflict going on ego clashes when it comes to feelings or something like that but somebody still is regaining their balance to move forward. Somebody want to move forward in life or something, y'all. I feel strongly that this person, no matter where they go, they're going to be okay. They're going to, they're going to be able to move forward and actually uh, reach the pinnacles that they want. Okay? That's what I'm getting. I don't know. This person is making a plan already. Yeah. Wow. Magician in the reverse. Okay. So this person's obstacle is something that couldn't manifest on the new moon. That eclipse. I feel like karma was uh started happening for this organization. And they could be spying to see if this person has taken a leap of faith towards their lover. Because they feeling left out in the cold. Or they want this person to be left out in the cold, whoever this organization person is, whoever that is. This could be a part of their, um, somebody that they was in this organization with, somebody that, um, <sighs> that could have told them these lies. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. So somebody could be trying to hold back a King of Cups. Or there's some sort of financial security or somebody's withholding something from a king of cups. They could be very upset at a king of wands or they're jealous of the king of wands because they told them eight of wands that they want to take this action and they know something going to go in their favor. They're wishing to have the ten of cups and marrying their soulmate and they watching. So there is somebody watching this person to see if they're going to go do go through with it. Because somebody is now hold, withholding from this King of Cups energy. Whoever this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is. And they know that this person has found their inner strength to walk forward and get all, like, break free. Somebody is withholding from this King of Cups. Who the King of Cups? The Four of Swords. They could be praying for good news. They could be needing, laying something to rest. Somebody, this King of Cups could be overwhelmed as well because about this message of truth. All right. What's the Four of Swords? Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah, it's the ending of a stalemate. Four of Swords. Knight of Wands. So somebody's laying to rest some, ooh, healing from some sort of Knight of Wands devil energy, maybe. Somebody could be holding back from a King of Cups because they are healing from 
some lustful energy, sex magic, whatever this is. Some sort of unhealthy attachment. This could be same sex for some of y'all or two friends, two bros, whatever. Uh, something is being laid to rest with somebody being a player or being lustful. Obsessed over a king of wands. Because of what somebody is telling them that this king of wands has already said what they was going to do. There's sudden changes now with this person going on an adventure because the wheel of fortune is here for them to heal and be happy with a two of cups situation. This got somebody afraid. They are so afraid because they did cause a lot of conflict or they tried to sabotage this person from moving into a relationship or doing the right thing. Somebody could have got been spying on the King of Pentacles, a married man, or found out uh, information about somebody that was a leader or that was an older gentleman or something that lied about something. That's why there's a tower now that this person taking a leap of faith with another lover or something like that. Take it as it resonates, but somebody's laying something to rest. Yeah, it could be a Capricorn here that wants you to trust them again. Like, what can I do to get you to trust me again? Because somebody feel like you don't trust them now. Because somebody feel like they, they gave them false information about something, y'all. Wow, one, 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 one. Okay. We got a Leo. Could be a Trinidadian, Haitian, Jamaican person. We got a Taurus. They can't GPS track somebody no more. They want to know why they couldn't find somebody like you. <sighs> Man, they said you're looking real good in them pictures. He is so mad right now because everything is backfiring on them and they group. And they all in their head and they feelings about this. Because you're an earth angel. Like I said, they realize that. And due to somebody's religious belief systems, they wanted somebody to lose you for good on a Tuesday, okay? Some, I told you, somebody is afraid you're going to reject them. They really feel like you're going to reject them. Like, uh, If they come towards you, like, is you going to say no? Or is you going to play me or whatever? But they like, fuck it. Somebody is willing to take a risk here, Okay. Somebody could be, a, their ex could be a Nigerian man or a woman, a cousin, evil eyes is going blind because they know somebody want to be with you bad as hell. Unfinished business in love with an earth sign. Somebody didn't want you to be with this person. Like I said, they thought they could replace you, but they can't. Wow, yeah, you were destined to be a king or a queen. He walking away from the karmics now. So that's beautiful. A Virgo, a karmic cycle is over. It's not your fault that they're suffering from karma. The message. Nobody is believing somebody lies anymore. Third eye chakra magic is backfiring on a Sagittarius. Aries at the bottom of the deck. She walked away from a karmic. This karmic could be a part of an organization, secret society, or a coven a year ago, Z. Because somebody knew somebody was still in love with you, but they was hiding it. They tried to say that they wasn't in love with you, but they hid it. Some A woman knew that. Some A woman with shortcut knew that. Somebody could uh, have a BMW, Subaru, Mazda, Toyota, Cadillac, Hellcat, Charger, or Challenger that had an alcohol addiction, a black man or a woman. They knew you was connected to the all that is and all that will ever be. They know that their black woman is, is man or woman is connected to all that is, all that will ever be. Somebody that's been stalking you on every platform, they know they got to make it up to you this lifetime. Yeah, a narcissist that was jealous of you. Somebody was stalking you, though. Somebody knows something is being made up to you this lifetime. 
Okay. It says they lost everything for coming for you. This person that stalked you at the gym only did it for money. Because somebody is in love with you for real, for real. Somebody could have been getting arrested because their phone was tapped. Okay. We got B, G. This person is not of the light, low vibrational energy here. Okay. Yeah, he was trying to set her up, but this spiritual warfare is over. There could have been a physical or verbal altercation because it was divine intervention and your destiny is safe. They created a mess and was hoping it, somebody can help them fix it. A karmic male was a police officer. They know they, know they messed up bad. This person got a silver, gold, white, gray, or yellow car. All blockages are removed. You're about to get a pay raise. Somebody is very attracted to you, but you hard to get next to because somebody felt like it was nothing more. It was just sex here. Libra, we got bring it, spend the night bag. F today, a niece or a nephew. Okay, Aries. Let's see. Because somebody could have told somebody, oh, it was just sex, nothing more. This is that. And the third, blah, Z, blue, what, Z, whoop. Okay. C, M, first, last, middle, initial, yours, it is. If you're reading this, it's too late. Yeah. What happened? Unfinished business in love with a fire sign. This person could have been stalking you at the gym on Friday on a new moon. Love always wins. Somebody knows you. Somebody don't have mental illnesses or something like that. A. Somebody knows you are 100% heterosexual. This man, they got dreads or braids. Oh. Aquarius. Well, this woman is a higher practitioner. They sent to block your path last weekend. What else? P, first, last, middle, and the show yours it is. On Monday, somebody is a truck driver. Something about DHS, CPS, or anything with child, child protective services. They knew you wasn't from here. What else? A celebrity isn't stalking somebody anymore because their mind games is backfiring. Somebody cannot stop missing you. They tried to hack your phone, but they got locked out. What else? Somebody know you're not selling sex online and whoever told that lie is getting karma. Somebody can't get over you at all. M. <sighs> On Sunday. A cancer. They not single. Oh. This weekend. Take your time. Don't rush. Somebody know they graveyard magic backfired because a soulmate is coming into you. Your children love you very much. It was his wife or girlfriend that did spell work on somebody's children as well. They going to hell for that. H, yeah, they about to learn a hard lesson because true love is coming towards you. All right. Yeah, unfinished business in love with a water sign. They can't get over you at all. Uh, somebody wasn't single and they mind games is backfire. Or they could have said you wasn't single, collective. Yeah, they could have said you wasn't single, but somebody finding out you is. So, um, yeah, back to the beginning of the reading. Like I said, somebody really thought you wasn't single or somebody... um. Don't know. They feel like you about to get into another relationship. So somebody could have lied and say, oh, yeah, you they, they dealing with somebody. They got this going on. This is that and the third. But somebody finding out all that was a lie. I hope this helped.